Well, the return to fall sports has been a major talking point for high school athletes, and today we got some new details on what the season could look like. News 19's Chandler Mack has more. On Wednesday, the South Carolina High School League announced changes to their fall sports plan. Here's a little breakdown of the new plan. Football practices with pads and helmets will begin on September 8th, which is three weeks later than their previous plan. Also in the new plan, the first football games will be played on September 25th. Teams will have a seven-game regular season that will conclude on December 4th and 5th for championship weekend. Here's League Commissioner Jerome Singleton. It allows our schools to kind of ease their way into it. And if you think about it, it kind of mirrors the way some of them are looking to go back to face to face instruction. They may start off with virtual, then move to a hybrid, and then move to a full face to face. So I think it only ties in with the way they're doing their process. For football, volleyball, and tennis, only the top two teams in the region will make the playoffs. Typically, the top three to four teams will make the playoffs in a normal season. Teams will be allowed two scrimmages, and football teams that do not make the playoffs will be allowed to schedule one additional game to their season. We want to give some opportunities for them to challenge themselves a little bit before they have to go into their first game. Singleton also says that stadiums will be allowed to have a maximum of 250 people in the stands with social distance measures in place. Although he says the plan could change down the line, he hopes students will have some form of a fall sports season. If there's an opportunity for school, there ought to be an opportunity for athletics to take place. And we want to continue to pursue that. But it has to work together. We are, we are a resource to the member schools who are there for academic purposes, for academic purposes first, not the athletics first, academic purposes first. And we're serving as a resource as part of that educational experience. For additional start dates for fall sports under the new plan, head over to WLTX.com. South Carolina high school teams are currently in phase 1.5 of summer workouts. Teams can be in groups of 15 players and a coach and the use of a shared ball is allowed. The league is leaving the door open on moving fall sports to the spring if it is canceled because of COVID-19.